Hi guys, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. Today, we're talking about contributions and our first question is, do you think there are contributions that are not, you're not necessarily required to contribute in? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Eh eh, tuwanze tuna ya arusi. Arusi ni choice, wewe ndu choose kuwa wana. When do we choose? So, since you pay stress, you want to take five million. I love you. Take a CC. You could change it. CC to learn how to pay school fees. A Rusi is a choice. I believe it's a choice. You to come a birthday. You don't take a cook a birthday. You don't take a to change it. You need choice. You to come a mazishi. That's necessary. You need to how you na you na expect it. So maybe to come a mtoto ni tati ni change a Rusi. Ni change a ati ako na bash. I know, yeah, those, those ones, it's out of my benevolence of feeling you are my friend. Pepeza. Like in it, yo, at am obligated. No, it cannot be. Apara, it's unikwara zako, litaka kuwa o yumse. Exactly, it depends with the person who you are doing a rambeo either. Maybe it's a family member or a friend. Yeah, but group kama ya matanga, I don't have any reason to ask you before I had you. Yeah, maybe a wedding. Because for you to contribute for a wedding, maybe kuna kitu tuna link, maybe we are friends. Yeah, sure. Squeeze, squeeze unaingisho tu group yoyote, provided mtu wako na namba hako kwa any contribution. Lagini kwa mimi siyezi seme yoyo nishida. Sometimes contributing is a personal interest. If you are interested to contribute, you will contribute. If you are not, you won't. So, so for instance, unaweza kuwa group a friend of yours, akuweka group kwa mazishi ya rafiki yake mwenye nyanya yake amekufa. Ah, mbona ulipe do? Juu it's hiyo ni hiyo ni hiyo ni mrefu. But kama umekuwa kwa group yenye ko reasonable, family member amefariki ama a friend of yours amefariki mwenye ulikuwa unajua. So unaweza kuwa na ile huruma useme let me contribute. No. no. So kwa contribution kwa 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 group za contribution si mbaya but then if i kuwa abnormal unajua siku hizi unaekwa tu so yani imejaribu ime, ime kukuwa ni trend yenye mekani kama iko abnormal mtu tu ana, ana, anapata anapata group anaku add na ni ya contribute kitu inafaa kufanywa ni weka mtu kwa group ya contribution yenye you think that person akona interest ya hata kujua the deceased person ni nani kwake lakini isikuwe ni ya kurushana hivi rampant inakuwa awkward actually yeah there are harambees like <laughs> baby shower <laughs> what am i to do with that <laughs> okay if if you're actually inviting someone for an harambe let it be a reasonable one you see, let it be a reasonable one. And also if you see someone is contributing that the child is going maybe to higher education or maybe secondary education, Kwani, were you not prepared since the birth of that child till today? Were you not prepared? I, I believe if you're adding me to a WhatsApp group, we have some relation. You know, when there's no relation, there's no communication. So you haven't been communicating to me, that means we don't have a relation. So if we don't really really know each other why should you add me to a whatsapp group like i won't even see it i'll mute it because i don't know you i don't know the person who is dead i don't i don't know if this money is coming to your account so that you can go and flow this with your girls you know see if I, you add me to a whatsapp group i must verify i know you and we know each other you know something like that a relationship ex exists yes first of all my answer is yes because um just like we have beggars on the street you know, there are beggars who just beg for the sake of it, not because they can't fend for themselves. I think there are also beggars online. So they just do that for the reasons of uh, getting money to themselves. So these are just lazy people. They are lazy people who just want to, to get money out of innocent citizens. Uh, for instance, um, there are people who carry out their mini harambees from the major harambe, like no genuine harambees. Like, uh, there's a certain case I won't mention uh, when, but I remember the, there was a contribution going on for a burial, and at the back of it, like behind the scenes, there was somebody who was also carrying out another harambe for the same burial, but now, this time, 
uh, only that the money was going to their own account. So there are people who carry out harambees, not because they, are, they genuinely need the money, but they just come up with a topic. But uh, when in real sense, they just want to you know, manipulate citizens and get money out of them. Okay, so we the same if what you can necessarily contribute to harambee for civic kuenda. It's something in your memory on a jitolea to a symbol. So, me and Nathan, where you scared or Yako Makutuma Koharambe and Ossisame at the sea world where we end up contribute. So, you only roho am to where the same. Okay, like you, you don't just have to contribute to anything. I uh, asked, uh, asked you to contribute because at some point you might say something, but then it was not necessary part of. Or okay, it uh, the answer you give is not necessary necessarily what is needed of you. Then it means at some point you just need to hold out. You just sit back, keep quiet. Maybe wait for any other thing, any rambo or any question to answer. You just don't answer any question uh, that is given unto you to answer. These things the nature baby shower to me. I don't think Nikki Uki create a rambe like Kama Baby Shower. It's a must for me to contribute because I'm a friend. Juki Tambu are giving birth and at court neka baby shower or anything. Another thing ni marriage. Marriage harambe is I don't think it's necessary to contribute to that. Yeah, kuna harambe sio harambe zote unafa unafa kuchangia kama for example ya kitu kama pre wedding. I think it's not uh, it's not part of me. Hiyo ni ku sipo lakini kama ya burial mazishi hiyo ni automatic tu. Inafaa u support juice kumoja pia na unaweza kuwa kwa hiyo situation. Of course there are so many. I think actually most contributions they're supposed to be they're supposed to be like someone is supposed to be willing to contribute. That's why it's a contribution. It's not supposed to be a must. So you see there is this tendency of people adding you to a group. You just wake up and find yourself in a WhatsApp group. You've been added for you to contribute. And, and uh, the person did not even ask you first before they added you. So I think most of the contribution, the first thing one should do is first ask. Then after asking now, you can, you can, you can now ask the person if they're willing to be added to the group of contribution. Because sometimes somebody might have money or not. Not really an emergency really. But um, so may, the medical ones, um, maybe in a depend on the relation you have with the person. Like, like that, that's important. Like the person depends on it. So if you can, jaribu as much as possible to help the person. But zingine truly unnecessary fear kuna others in your city that is necessary. Unaweza kitaka unaweza kosa no one should really judge you for that. Yes, I do feel like there are some contributions you're not necessarily required to take part in. Some of them are baby showers and weddings because one question that comes to my mind when I hear that is are you trying to fit into societal expectations because why are you not ready? This is something you should have planned like two to three years before that. Um, contributions that I'm okay with are medical bills and um, stuff like funerals. Something like that is totally understandable because it's unpredictable, it is unavoidable. Which takes us to our next question. Do you think there should be a limit to which amount anyone can actually contribute? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Limit ni, wame na venyo mse na relate. Kuna mse mwenye limit yangu na yake ni tuke. Kuna mtu mwenye limit yangu na yake ni 2 million. Kuna mtu limit yangu na yake ni infinity. I can't, this, I can't quantify it. So I don't believe there is a set target, like a set amount unaza nini. It's the relationship with how you have with the person. No limit. Uh, contribution depends with the, uh, your uko capable kufanya nini. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have any limit. I find one a limit because everyone has got a different ability of uh, owning money. Kuna mwenye hako na pesa mingi, kuna mwenye hako na pesa kido, kidogo. Kuna mwenye hata contribute 10, na kuna mwenye hako capable of contributing 1,000. Asa, wacha, wacha mtu wa contribute kulingana na standard yake ya finance. Not really. Contribution is from the heart. You can contribute any amount that you like. Si meenda kukontribute. Limit ni wea mwenye utajipe. Ya kukufai kuwa na limit. <laughs> no, there's no limit because... It, the intensity, um, the, the, okay, the bond or the closeness to the person 
contributes greatly to the limit you can contribute. If, let's say, it's my mother, God forbid, my mother has a problem and she places me in a WhatsApp group. You can't tell me, I'll, you can't say that I'll, I'll contribute 50 shillings, then go to the bushes. No, I'll give in my, my all, you know. They, like, the main point is the bond determines the limit. No, I don't think there's a limit. I think the limit should be determined by the contributor. If you're a millionaire, then you can just contribute up to millions if you have. But uh, if you, if your income is only ten thousand, then I think just contribute based on your level. The limits is determined by the the person's income, the person's pocket. Yeah, in a tegemea. For example, kitukama burial, ukio close sana na na the affected, iyo saidi ko affected. Kuna kuna amount one zato, lakini ka uko ukombali sana. Pia kuna amount jawezi to atu the same na. Na kwenyu na na palisio imbani. Okay, when we talk about con money contributions, you don't have to put to put any limit uh, because uh, you don't know the will of someone. You might say, guys, contribute, let's say fifty thousand, but then someone is willing to contribute higher than that, or someone is able to contribute lower than that. So you don't need to give any limit to uh, any contribution forum. I can only pay when you're not like if it's if it's a rambe kwanza if it's a rambe juya matanga or something somebody died I will pay the amount the amount they are saying but something like marriage and other rambe that that's not necessary I don't think they should keep should they should put for me a limit to pay. No, there shouldn't be a limit because uh, we have different capabilities. Somebody might be having a lot, somebody might be having less. So it should be, it should be what that person is able to do, so no, no, no limits. In my opinion, when a limit, when you have a limit, when you have a limit, when a limit, when you have a limit, like, there's nothing you can really do. That's not really helping. It can't be forced. Helping me, when you are Pia, pia, like, you know, depend on your relationship with the person, like how well you know, and all of that. To come and a friendship, so in a way, like, you can feel you can however you can. That, that's a close friend to you. I do not think it's necessary to have a limit for whatever amount anyone con can contribute. I think it's a matter of, you know, what they have in their pockets, uh, what they're able to give and also the type of relationship you guys have. And if you also decide not to put a limit, be ready because when it's Ashtuka, you know, you might be giving the bride a chance to have second guesses because what if someone contributes more than what you are willing to offer? Just saying. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.